Alright guys, before this video actually starts, I just want to quickly apologize for not putting out any actual content for you guys to watch. Um, I had a bunch of school and stuff that I had to do. Thankfully I actually passed, and now that summer has actually started, I can upload like, well, mo most likely more than I was before, maybe twice a week. Uh, or at least I've tried my best to, because of course I've got to spend time with family over the summer and stuff like that. But don't worry, I'll actually be posting videos now. I won't be gone for fucking four weeks or whatever happened. Um, another thing I do want to bring up is my microphone quality. I know it wasn't the best the last time either, but at least you can't hear me typing and clicking and stuff like that like you could before. Uh, I will be trying my best to save up money for a new microphone. I do not know how long it will take to get one. Now, without further ado, I do hope that you enjoy in the video. Ah, my lovelies of the Equinox Kingdom, welcome back to the channel. Uh, after a long period of waiting and, uh, schoolwork for myself, actually, I have come back with another series for us to hopefully finish. We didn't do the last one, sadly, but you know what? We will finish this one because I I really like the way this game looks. So I've looked up it, I've looked up on it a bit, and I know people don't really like. Some people just don't like it, but you know, I do. I, I think it's gonna be good. I've played a smidge of it on my phone, and then I went and bought it on Steam. So you know, I might as well give it a try, right? Anyways, without further ado, let's get right back into the game. Right back? No, I'm sorry. Let's get into the game. How do I... Wait, what's the keys? I am sorry. There we go. Using multiple save files is highly recommended. Both keyboard and controller are supported for input. F4 will enter windowed mode, F5 will return to the menu. Please enjoy and choose wisely. Now, most games that I play, or I will be playing in this game that are story-based, will have, I mean like this, will have multiple choices for us to choose from. There will be multiple outputs to the game, multiple endings. This, these are just the kind of games I like. Where am I? Is this outer space? No, it absolutely can't be. I'd never survive in the void. I scan my surroundings. What I see should be an impossibility. A luminescent nebula gazes back at me. It twinkles, dancing across the sky. It's beautiful, but I'm not here to stargaze. As I take in the scenario, I notice some key things. My feet are not on solid ground. I appear suspended, and for some reason I am able to hear and breathe. Those are the two things you can't do in space. I count this as a blessing and focus on breathing. There were exercises I could use to calm myself down. One, two, three, four. Before I can count any higher, though, I'm interrupted. At that moment, I realize I'm not here by myself. I feel a hand rest upon my shoulder, and I shiver. I expect to feel fear, but a rush of calm overtakes me. I don't think that's correct grammar, but you know what will I start? Hello, and welcome to the Ark. This is a very special place, you see. A select few are allowed to be here. This is home to those touched by fate. Imbued with power most would call fiction. Others have come, but now it's your turn. First and foremost, I require a name. Something to enter in the annal. Is it annals? Yeah, annals of time. We must endure that you aren't forgotten. Let's put... Not premise. 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 
Hmm. It has a nice ring to it. I'm sure you'll be remembered. My name, you ask? I'm afraid that's not important. No one will remember me after this. Your presence here portends a grand fate. Not just for you, but the universe too. That is the purpose of those who come here. To that end, what else do they call you? Your surname is just as important. And out of curiosity, I must know. It is... Roik. <clears throat> Closed. Sorry. <laughs> Premise Roik. Hmm? Very well. The pleasure is mine. I'm giving... A... In giving me your name, the deed is done. Your service to me and the Ark is pledged. But do not worry. You're not a slave. Your service rewards you with a power. Something that most would kill to achieve. Others must bend to the rules of the world. But for you, the opposite rings true. You are no longer a victim of circumstance. When you make a choice, reality will bend. Your every whim will fall to your lap. The universe now accommodates you. This is the power granted to you by the Ark. This is the power granted to you by me. Oh, it appears that you're fading away. Do you long to return to Earth? I understand. There is fear in the unknown. I will find you again soon, and perhaps then we can talk a little more. Don't be scared, Premise. I mean no harm. Would you like to save your game? Yes. Yes, I would. Let's save him in file one. Bullet train. I felt a rush of speed as I'm shot back into my body. It was almost as if my spirit momentarily left me. Who is that man? And just what was the Ark? I scratched my head in a state of sheer confusion. It definitely wasn't a dream, I know that for sure. When you wake up from a dream, you know it wasn't real. You laugh it off, continue on with your life. That's not the sensation I was feeling right now. I try to ground myself in reality. I take in my surroundings, the noises, the people. I focus on my destination, Tokyo, Japan. I feel myself calm down, slowly but surely. The anxiety starts to replace itself with excitement, though many would ag argue <laughs> what the difference is. Who didn't dream of going to Tokyo in their lifetime? It had to be on the bucket list of millions of people. As it was the first of many places I'd visit, on what would surely be the best year of my life. I sit there, holding the armrest in it with a fierce grip. It wouldn't be long until I figured out how wrong I was. Chapter 1. The Calm Before the Storm I tried my best to maintain my composure. A can of Pop Star held firmly in my grasp. I wasn't one to drink energy drinks so leisurely, but I picked up what you might call an addiction. For a little bit more context, I'll say this. Pop Star was the leading brand of energy drink. In fact, it was almost as popular as soda. It had a full endorsement from a, po a famous pop idol. A contest was held to coincide with this idol's new tour. Two special cans were then thrown into the wild. Those that found them got to travel with the tour. Almost like a golden ticket from old childhood stories. Willy Wonka. The contest made the drink skyrocket in popularity. It took the world by storm. A cultural phenomenon. The chance to live the life of luxury was hard to pass up. In case you didn't know, the name of the idol was Clace. So when I say I picked up something of an addiction, that might actually be the understatement of the year. The odds of winning were literally in the billions, so it took a fair amount of chugging in order to win. I asked myself if it was worth it, but that's subjective. 
At least that's what I told myself in between jitters. Being one of the lucky two came with its consequences. That's what the media called the prospective winners. Before I continue thinking, I'm interrupted. Let's get fucking punched in the side of the head. What just happened? Someone walking down the aisle had a nasty fall. They braced their descent and land on the seat beside me. That takes a special kind of skill, doesn't it? He quickly rises to his feet, wearing a look of panic. Oh, we should have this guy. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I nod my head. It's not the end of the world. Aside from a minor fright, everything is fine. Although maybe we could talk to pass the time. It was starting to get boring sitting by myself. First time on a train. Don't know what came over me. I just got dizzy and then BAM! Sounds like someone had a case of vertigo. I apologize again. Sorry for intruding, I really am. I try explaining to him that everything is fine, but he seems to think he's committed an awful crime. Oh, what the fuck? Your choices will affect the way you are treated. Before he can respond, however, an alarm sounds loudly. The train comes to a screeching halt. It is not possible to please everyone. Keep that in mind. Mechanical failure. That's not good. Oh no, what was that? Are we going to die? I can't help but snicker at that. He's clearly one of those catastrophic thinkers. Good thing I brought a conch. Now I can be in power, now I can be in power for stranded. It's, it's a, a magic conch shell, guys. Holy shit. Sorry. He goes to rummage through his bag. A bit of a bookworm too, isn't he? I decided to just sit back and wait it out. In situations like this, there was nothing else to do. I try and think of how I could pass the time. It might be a while until we're mobile again. I can't use my phone for anything other than text. The data charges while aboard were a death sentence. But everybody back home would already be asleep. There was quite the time difference at play here. My phone vibrates as I go to look at it. Almost as if it knew I was thinking about it. It's Rook, the man I'm meeting at the train station. He's wondering where I am, and I'm not sure what to say. Should I play it cool, or let him know we've stalled? Are you almost here? I can't wait all day, you know. I, I can't say for sure. Rook didn't like your response. Oh well. I choose to be honest with him. Wouldn't want to get things off to a bad start. But somehow I feel like that's exactly what happened. Gah! Uncertainty! My least favorite thing to hear. Very well. He replied, he, his reply signals a feeling of discontent. But there was nothing I could do. And of course, I was truthful. I could rest easy. I noticed that the squirrel is also eagerly texting away. I put my phone back in my pocket and reclined in my seat. I wasn't exactly sure how Rook was related to Clay's, but he had to be pretty high up there. I was only given concrete details last week. I thought there'd be limos and media coverage, but I was quickly told that this that, that this wasn't the case. I was getting picked up by a regular guy named Rook. I wonder if he would go full-on cliché. With a large piece of cardboard that says, Primus. <laughs> oh man. I really hope we'll be okay. My train rides are usually indecent free, or incident free. Usually. But he said that this is, was his first time? He seems to be, he seems to contradict himself without realizing it. Well, as far as, as awkward silences are, we should probably get to know each other, just in case we're stuck here forever. Oh, how fun that would be. You can call me Keela. I'm here to, well, I'm here to see some friends. What about you? What brings you to Tokyo? It's nice to meet another English speaker. I only speak Japanese at preschool levels. I'm about to answer, but I stopped myself short. I have flashbacks to when I signed that NDA. I wasn't allowed to publicly reveal why I was here. At least, not until the media made it official. But then again, what harm could it do? 
I'd, it'd likely never find itself back to me. Plus, Keela could be impressed with who I really am. A friend would be a great thing to have all aboard. Should I tell him or should I keep it a secret? I mean, if I sign an NDA, I really don't want to get in trouble for that. So, yeah, no thanks. I'm sorry, Gila. Sorry, I can't say why I'm here. I decided to stick to my morals and not break the NDA. It was probably for the best. Who wants a lawsuit? If I did let out my secret and word got back to Rook, well, I'm sure there'd be hell to pay. Oh, you can't say? That's cool, I guess. I'm just here to visit my brother. Nothing to hide on my end, really. I thought he just said he was here to meet friends. Now he's here to meet his brother? That seems odd. Nothing to hide, huh? I feel bad that I can't tell him. He clearly realizes that I'm hiding something. I'm still really excited. It's my first time in Tokyo. Gotta hit up all the maid cafes. Of course. Typical tourist. What about you? Would you ever go to a maid cafe? I've heard they're just best friends. Oh, no. Shit, I'm sorry. I've heard they're just the best. Maid cafes. Those are much like restaurants in Western culture. However, your waitress actually stays at your table. You converse with them, play games, get to know them. It was definitely a foreign concept to me. How do I respond to Kila? You know what? I'd love to go to one. This guy's alright. Cool, we'll have to keep in touch. I've looked online at all the tourist sites. There's some great ones down in a Akihabara. Before I can continue talking, the train moves again, and the passengers are shaken up by the sudden movement. Keela beams a wild smile as if this was a major victory. Wow, I was scared for nothing. That didn't really last long at all. He sure seems like quite the character. If we did end up going to those meat cafe... Well, there'd be no shortage of entertainment. I wonder if he's the same... I wonder if the same could be said of Rook. More importantly, I wonder how he'd treat me. He certainly seems like an interesting guy. For a moment, I'm glad I didn't break my NDA. I don't think I would have been able to face him if I did. I find it odd that I'm analyzing my previous actions, as if I could have changed what I said and what I did. Perhaps it was because of that weird vision I had. I can control my own destiny, or something like that. What a ridiculous thing to comprehend. If I could control my destiny, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be off somewhere living a life of luxury. But there's no use of thinking like that, so I stop. At that exact moment, a pain attacks my chest. More pain than I've ever felt before. It pulses with my increasing fast heartbeat. I gotta clutch my gut instinctively, only to find that I can't move. Everyone around me seems to have frozen in place. I start to panic. I gotta focus on my breathing like before. But I can't breathe either! I sense someone behind me, and then I feel it. That hand on my shoulder again. The pain fades away, and I gasp loudly for air. Is there something about his touch? Terribly sorry for earlier. Our meeting seems to have been cut short. Perhaps you desire to return to Earth. After all, the universe does bend to you now. Am I that frightening? Either way, I sense conflict within you. You think what happened earlier was a dream. Yet now your dream stands before you. I am real. The Ark is real. And that power that you have? Well, yes. It's real too. Am I not here... I am not here to lecture you anymore. Your words and actions are your own. As is the power I have given you. However... You will be asked to help me. You are not receiving this power for free, but I will let you run free for today. When I see you again tonight, I will tell you everything, and then your journey will begin. Would you like to save your game? Yes. Yes, I would. Let's just save over file one for now. I know I said we need to save it multiple times, but eh, you know, I'm going to be fine. I was immediately... Actually, you know what? We'll actually stop it right here. Guys, I'm sorry to stop it right here, but it's the second load. 
I have about one on 20 minutes, and maybe I just want to keep you guys waiting. So I do hope you enjoy the video, guys. If you do want to see more, I'm probably going to put more out. But, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, okay? It really shows me if you want to see it. And, well, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get better at outros and stuff like that. Um, I'm really shitty at them now. Well, yeah.